All right, I'm happy to explain. I have videos going back years and years on my YouTube as well, explaining this in tons of detail, including showing how I actually did all this work, if you're interested. So how do I get the power to these amplifiers in this all electric vehicle? And how do I run all this power? So let's go through it. Now, if we look at the front where my 12 volt battery is at, you'll notice that it's a pretty standard AGM battery. And I only have one additional zero gauge run fuse going to the back and some additional grounds. The only thing that is used for is the 12 volt bus to the car to run the low voltage eight channel 800 watt amplifier. That is this guy right here. And of course to run everything else on the car that's 12 volts, like the lights and even some of my dash pod accessories. So pretty standard. The draw on the 12 volt bus is pretty low. But what you'll notice is I have a breaker back here and some big zero gauge runs, which feeds into additional breakers that go through a pre-charger circuit, go into some smoothing capacitor banks, eventually go into the main amplifiers. Well, this is my secret right here. This is not 12 volts. So this is not tied to that 12 volt battery. It's actually tied to the big 400 volt battery that runs the length of the car. So the high voltage battery that is used to power the motor that makes the car move feeds directly into these high voltage amplifiers. Tons of video on these, but I have 400 volts going directly into them. Unlike traditional car amplifiers that take 12 volts, they have to amplify it to 160 volt rails or so on, and then they have to turn that amplified signal out into AC for the speakers. This actually takes in up to 440 volts DC in, and then with IGBTs, modulates the signal into an AC output for the speakers. So hopefully that clarifies it. Uh, you can't just tie into your 12 volt bus on a hybrid or electric vehicle and expect to run any kind of power without either additional batteries, lithium batteries, or doing what I did here, which is tying into the high voltage bus, ensuring you extend the high voltage interlock loop circuit for, for safety, and then doing a few other things to make sure everything works well and you have no issues. I can't forget about this. Uh, people ask me what this is all about. You'll see that I run a lithium bank back here. These are headway lithiums. This actually allows me to charge this bank from the 12 volt bus of the car. And then when I'm ready to run the system, because I want to power the 12 volt circuitry of these amplifiers, uh, isolated and bifurcated away from the 12 volt bus of the car, I actually use that bank for that purpose. So this switch allows me to now run the 12 volt circuitry inside of this amplifier in parallel with the 400 volt bus because they do share a ground, right? Uh, in full isolation. So if anything ever happens to this guy, if there's, let's say PCBs inside of it, or sorry, PCB traces that melt, that cause a short and so on, which by the way, I have done before with a, another amplifier, the Sound Digital HV. Uh, I had so much voltage and power melted the, the PCB traces, I'm not gonna go into, into detail, but knowing that this is something that can happen with these, I run this guy fully fused and so on. So if 400 volts ever does go through that, worst case that, that happens is this is destroyed, but the car, the ECU, the computer, everything else is isolated and safe. 